Okay, so welcome back. We've got a couple more um, uh, conditional statements before we start to validate this uh, this code, or validate the user input, sorry. Uh, and the first one I want to do is I want to check if uh, this is a valid email address or a valid email address email address has been provided then I'm going to go ahead and quickly write a function called email underscore exists much like the user exists so we're basically just going to copy and paste it it's just a copy and paste job um, and then we're going to give uh, give a user you know some more feedback um, we're going to be making use of our output errors function that we created um, in order to actually display these errors to the user so very very quickly we'll finish off this uh, this validation part of the registration process so I'm going to check if uh, the user's email address that they entered is valid. So I'm going to say if filter underscore var. So I'm using the filter var function. Uh, essentially this takes um, a string and then how you want to validate this particular input. Uh, in this case we want to uh, input the email address. And the second parameter is um, a constant here which is filter validate email. Um, uh, essentially we're passing that through and just saying validate this as a valid email address now valid email address is probably not what you think we could get away with typing something like alex at internet dot um, I don't know AAA for example as a, as a domain extension while this isn't a valid domain extension uh, it might not even be a, a, a host that's online uh, it's essentially just checking the way that this string is formed um, it's just a quicker way of than doing a regular expression um, as we did up here um, but let's go ahead and do this anyway it should be enough really to, to get get us started so um, so we want to append to our errors array and we'll just say a valid email address is required okay done so the next thing we want to do is check whether the email exists so if email exists is equal to true and we obviously want to pass through the email address uh, we're going to do exactly the same as we did here with the uh, the uh, username in fact I'm just going to substitute that with email I'm going to say sorry the email is already in use so I'm just saying you know the same thing as I did before um, so we've obviously used the email exists function but we haven't written the email exists function yet so within users.php and I'm going to use this uh, function or I'm going to define this function within here I'm going to copy and paste this user exists function and I'm going to go ahead and obviously change the name of it to email exists and instead of taking a username we're taking an email we want to sanitize the email and uh, and write that back to uh, an email called variable and we obviously need to change our query as well instead of selecting the count of user ID from users where the username equals username we want to say uh, select the count where email equals email because if a user has already used an email address uh, it's very unlikely that we want a user to use that same email address again so um, in this case it will return true if any user within our database table has that email address that the user is trying to register with otherwise it will return false much like we did just with the username itself so let's go ahead and fill out our form uh, again and waste more time um, and uh, we'll see what happens here let's go ahead and fill it out uh, properly so we avoid all of our errors um, I'm going to say Alex, um, in fact this is quite interesting, if I use say all capitals, how is that going to render or how is that going to output with checking that that user exists? Now let's go ahead and test this, I'm going to enter all other valid data, so password, password, first name and email address, let's just go ahead and get rid of these. Alex at phpacademy.org. Uh, register. Sorry, the username Alex is already taken. A valid email address is required, which I'm not sure why that's happened. Let's just go ahead and check because um, if filter var. 
oh equals 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 false we obviously need to check that against uh, a value so if it returns false then that means the the email address is for, is uh, invalid so that's got rid of that and sorry the email alex at phpacademy.org is already in use so we know that that works uh, but we also know that sorry the username alex is already taken so while passing it through to our mysql query uh, we are not checking for specifically uppercase or lowercase um, we're just checking the you know the literal value of this string so now let's go ahead and fill it out properly with a new username and some new uh, user data I'm gonna say Billy password 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 again uh, Billy Garrett and we'll just say Billy at phpacademy.org click register and hopefully no errors uh, it says the username Billy is already taken that's because I inserted it earlier. Let me go ahead and just delete that value. So, uh, yep. Yeah. So let's go ahead and refresh the page and resubmit that data. And we've got no errors in our error array. And that's really good news because we've now, you know, gone through this, this process and, and validated the data, taking into account things like the username, blah, blah, blah. So what do we want to do now? Well, now we're going to go ahead and actually output the errors um, within our registration form uh, so the user can um, you know see any errors that they have um, any any errors that you know resulting in the validation of this form so in the next part we'll go ahead and uh, and um, output these errors